Today we're going to be moving some fish out of quarantine, setting up a new breeding tank, and I got a surprise new tank for y'all, so stay tuned. <music> Welcome back to the channel today it's gonna to be a chill little vlog I got some updates for you guys in the fish room and we're going to move some fish around as well look all these Africans out chilling and if you guys can see the reflection in the background you might see some tanks set up back there but uh I'll give you guys a little pan real quick but we will talk about that here soon um, we is going to be moving these angelfish out of here today so this white one right here and this beautiful black one right there is going to be coming out of here today. Look at our discus back over there. They doing good. Nice and healthy. Where the other one at? Oh, he's down there perched up under there with the other one. But they're all doing healthy. I'm definitely going to add three new fish to this aquarium. And I'm going to let you guys make some suggestions on if we should add any more fish to this aquarium. But I'll get to that towards the end of the video. Um, but those guys are going to be coming down here to this 20 gallon tall and two angels so they can breed out in this aquarium. I've had this tank up and running for quite some time and just haven't did nothing with it yet. I'm really liking all the little rocks and the little scape I got going on. I think it looks really good. And as far as the angels, I can always put in a piece of slate in here. Um, I have some terracotta pots I could slap in here. Or they can just lay the eggs on the rock or the glass. We'll see. But once they get in here and they start showing some breeding activity, we will see how that goes. Oh, I don't think I showed this in a second, but this is the pea puffer tank. It's looking good. I added in some more vowel in the back. This crypt, this bronze crypt up front is just growing crazy. There are little pea puffers. Still got a little cherry bars back there doing their thing. Tank is looking good. Got a little water spots on the glass, so I apologize for that. But other than that, tank looks really good. But I also want to move this guy out of quarantine today. Uh, let's see if we can get him on camera. Where you at, brother? Uh, come out, come out front and center. Front and center. Now nah, he just wants to hide. Oh, there you go. But this is our beautiful bicer that we are going to be moving to a new situation today. We didn't have him for probably about a month and a half now. We've been quarantining him in this 20 tall with all these uh, antler guppies that he don't eat, surprisingly. I thought he would have for sure knocked one of them off, but he don't. He eats shrimp and little pellets, so he's doing good, nice and healthy. It's time to get him out of this tank. That way I can get this tank cleaned up, rescaped, and do something else with it. But he is going to be coming up here to this aquarium that house our bass and our clown knife so you can see our little bass right there chilling hanging out perching and then we got a nice six seven inch clown knife that hangs out under there so this is going to be his new situation and i can't wait to get that done but you guys see we got some new stuff going on but first you probably noticed that we moved the 36 gallon bow front back here that was housing all the different types of community fish. But I went ahead and moved them over here to these two and a half gallons temporarily. Uh, we got these blue tetras, we got these pearl garamis, which I think I'm going to add these guys to the discus tank today once I move the other pair of angels out. I think they will look really good in here. Even these Australia rainbows, I think will look really good in there, but I'm not sure. But I just separated all the fish. We got the some serpe tetras, some silver tip tetras, but these some pearl daniels, some tiger barbs in there that's kind of hiding, and a few different types of tetras. We got a lot of fish going on right here. But you guys can let me know in the comment section: should we add any of these different species of tetras to that discus tank? Or should we just do something else with these fish? But I definitely want to add the pearl garamis in there because I think they would just like that red, the color that these programmies give off under the light is just crazy. And I think they will look dope inside that aquarium. But you guys can let me know. You guys ain't really seen this tank too much, but <laughs> down there we got some convict cichlids living. This is a tank that I had sealed. You can kind of see my little uh, job right here when I had ran a bead of silicone. And this thing been holding water. 
but we just got some convicts living down here right now hopefully they can breed out and i can have some more fry to feed other fish that's really what it is i don't really want to deal with the convicts i just want them to breed so that way i can have some free fish to feed my fish <laughs> well these africans is looking good today too but let's talk about these new tanks that i got set up so i had recently set this one up yesterday uh, it's a 55 gallon and i think it came out dope yo i think it looks really good i went ahead and added some white substrate that i had laying around I wanted this tank to look a little different because like you know all my tanks kind of got like this natural look to them you know I kind of wanted this one to kind of like pop and stand out a little bit different so I had the white substrate and then I had silicone I found this piece of these pieces of driftwood while collecting so I had silicone them to the bottom of the glass so that way I don't have to like use no rocks or no slate or anything like that to hold them down and it is looking good right now I really like this piece I like like all the I don't know what to call it, texture or design. I don't know what to call it, but it just looked good, man. But we got a nice little wave maker in there that's going to be moving water. And then we got a nice little hang on the back. And then look how long my pothos is just growing. It's like covering all the way down to that tank. So that's always a good sign. And then it starts all the way over here. And then look at this right here. It's like we're growing a hole in the plant just right here. That's crazy. And then we got roots in there, roots in there. It's just, I love the pothos, man. It's just the best filtration for your aquarium. But this tank right here is going to be for my South and Central American cichlids. So I have a few Texas cichlids. I got a Viejas. I have some fire mouths. I have some jewels, African jewels, which is not really Central or South Americans, but he is going to come in here too. And then I also have some rainbow cichlids that are going to go in here. So this tank is going to look dope. That's why I got a wave maker because it's going to be a lot of fish in here that got a big bio load so i want this always stirring up and that's how you keep your tank crystal clear anyway you need some type of water movement in here so that way it can stir it up so it can get picked up in the filter so let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this new setup man i think it's dope i might add some um anubias like glue some anubias down to the wood maybe uh, but for right now i kind of like how it looks i think it looks dope simple but effective and over here, guess who has moved his way over here to this aquarium, man? We got our beautiful, come on, follow me, follow me. Come on. We got our beautiful flower horn. So I went ahead and moved him up here to this um, rack system. And it's looking really good, man. We can really see him now. Look, uh, out and about. Come on, come this way. Swim over here. Come on. I just really wanted him to turn so y'all can see like his patterns. This is a beautiful fish. And I've seen some people like comment what to name them, but uh, I forgot. So you guys leave me some more comments. What should we name this guy? I think somebody said like Hawk or something. I kind of like that name because he got like that green on him. So Hawk where I probably would be pretty cool. But he is looking dope in here. So this is going to be his new home. He's just going to be up here in this tank by itself. I would love to add another fish in here with him. I got a beautiful red devil that I think would go dope in here with him, but I just feel like they are going to fight to the death. So he's just going to be in here by himself. And I'm starting to think that this is a female anyways. I don't even think this is a male because we have no nuclear hump. He got a decent little nuclear hump, but not like, you know, that thing should be popped off. So I think that might be a female, but nevertheless, still a very beautiful fish. And we're going to keep them in the fish room. We just got to get one more 55 for right here. And that tank will probably be for growing out like more African cichlid, baby. Because I got like all these Africans over here that need to get into a bigger tank so they can grow out. And then that way I can move my smaller Africans over to there. And, you know, it's just a process. Got to move some fish around. But I'm loving that right there, though. I got him a little wave maker in there as well because he is a messy eater so hopefully he can it'll kick up all that stuff on the bottom especially with it being a black substrate you can see everything um so hopefully it's keep this tank clean he got a nice little hang on the back little emperor so he should be just fine just just fine but yeah i'm pretty much finna just get these fish into their new aquariums gotta get this guy move that one 
you guys can see all these fish over here too but you guys have seen these on the channel a few times now so it's nothing new but everybody over here is healthy and doing good but i'm gonna get all these fish moved into their new aquariums and then i will pick the camera back up and show you guys how they looking so stay tuned so we finally got these pearl garamis moved over here to this new tank and i think they look really well in here i really love the pearl garamis because they give off like a nice red so once they start to color up they're gonna add a nice pop to this tank and they're like a simple peaceful fish too they're not aggressive so we don't have to worry about them like fighting with the other fish or messing with the discus or anything like that you can really start to see some of the colors already starting to come out on them but I think they're a nice addition to the fish room. Well, to this tank, not to the fish room, but to this tank. I think they're a nice addition. And you guys can let me know in the comment section, should we add any of the Tetris that's down there in the other tank to give this tank a little bit more life? Or should we just focus on getting more discus? But you guys can let me know. That's a nice meal right there. But this tank got some new life. I like it. I went ahead and added in a bunch of new plants down here as well. So we got some cribs. Added in this plant over here. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I put it in here. And then we got some more like core screw valves. So this tank is coming together. It's looking good so far. I'm enjoying it. Over here, let's see. We got our bite. Let's see where he at. He is perched over there somewhere. Yeah, you can guys can see him. This tank got a lot of like greening and high spots, so he's gonna be hiding a lot. But as you can see, he's in here doing good. And once he get adjusted to this tank, he's gonna be out swimming around that bass. Show been like real curious about him though. He been just following him around, so it's definitely gonna be looking good. Just gotta get adjusted. So probably in the next video, I'll give an update on him. You guys go to see how he's really looking in here, swimming around, doing good eating. But for right now, he is kind of a little skittish. Now, here are these angels. I turned their lights off because they're a little still trying to get adjusted. Um, that's the black one right here. And the white one is behind, behind this big old rock right now. But these guys still got to get adjusted to this new aquarium. And, you know, in a day or two, they'll be out swimming around doing their thing. And everything else down here in the fish room is looking good. Our uh, flag festums end up. Uh, remember I told you guys in the last video that I was raising up their eggs, but the eggs did not survive So I was kind of bummed out about that. Look at this electric blue car right in the it's a Nice shot of you brother But yeah, so they the they eggs didn't survive so kind of bummer But you know you live and you learn and next time, you know, hopefully they'll do well But they always land eggs, so shouldn't be two more time. I can lay them again so if anybody have any suggestions on how to raise up their eggs let me know because i definitely want to breed these guys and have a bunch of them in the fish room look at this guy down here i just looked up the corner of my eye and seen him just showing color there's a little female right there i haven't had any more babies out of them lately but you can see he wants to chase her he ready he definitely ready to breed beautiful fish but yeah, all the rest of the lights is off down here in the fish room. But, uh, ooh, I haven't showed these guys in a minute. Our Shellies. They don't ever want to come out, though, but they out right now, low key. For the most part. But that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. I uh, just wanted to get some fish moved, give you guys a little update video. And show you what's new going on in the fish room definitely got these two new tanks set up so let me know do we take a w on this tank and i already know this is a w with this dude just look at him or female male or female we don't know yet but if anybody any guy any flower horn expertise let me know if it's a male or a female but it's definitely a w for sure we just got to get five more 30 gallons to go down here at the bottom and one more 30 i mean one more 55 up here and then we'll move another 55 right there and then this side of the fish room will be complete man i want to get everything done before the end of the year 
Um, so I've been down here working my butt off trying to get everything done. Then I can work on the other side of the fish room because we got a lot more to expand, a lot more coming. You guys haven't seen the monster fish. There's a lot of stuff you guys haven't seen. I got a new monster fish that you guys haven't seen. I haven't even talked about it on the channel, but just been trying to wait until I show them. But all that is going to be coming in the near future. So make sure you guys keep your post notifications on. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. And make sure you just keep doing what you do, man. Showing me that love because I definitely appreciate you guys, man. Always. And uh, that's going to be pretty much it. I will catch you guys in my next video.